A dollar? A dollar? Hey guys, welcome back. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a dollar store full face, full face using dollar store makeup. Yeah, why did I have such a hard time saying that? So I went to Family Dollar, not Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, do not go to Family Dollar. Family Dollar is not a real full face of dollar store makeup because they be having like Maybelline and Wet n Wild. No, you gotta go to Dollar Tree to do a full face using real dollar store makeup. Let's go, I don't know, like, so, I'm so excited. This is so exciting. And the worst part about being so excited about all this new makeup is just that it could all be trash. Like, it could all be trash. Now this is gonna be an experience. This is all like first impression. I'm just gonna show y'all everything as I'm using it because that will be like a whole haul. So I'm gonna show you guys everything as I'm using it. Also, pre-warning, my eyebrows are not filled in, but they do look thicker because I henna tattooed them. I use black henna to fill them in and I also use black henna to do this mold. So if you're new here, that's not real. I'm gonna go in with this Pond's Moisturizer first. This is from the dollar store. I did not get it with this purchase, but it is at the dollar store that I go to. I'm hoping if I moisturize my skin pretty well, it will help this cheap makeup work better. I'm not using dollar store brushes or anything like that because I feel like with any product, I wouldn't specifically use brushes from that place or brand. I would just use my favorite brushes. So that would give them a fair chance of working. But I'm gonna go in with this face primer. This is the LA Girl. LA Girl, I'm gonna say that so many times, I know it. LA Colors Smooth Thing. It's like something but smooth thing. Face primer. And I got the peach one, which neutralizes dark spots. So maybe it'll help that. It's so hard. I ripped the whole back off and it's still in there like I didn't do anything I guess I'm gonna get my trash can and it's, it's supposed to be cute and in the background but I actually need it because everything is in all of this stuff is in boxes and I'm gonna have to open everything trash can okay it looks like this I like the packaging it's sleek and smooth it kind of looks like a lip gloss I'm scared I'm just gonna put it on there now I'm getting nervous <laughs> oh god oh god Oh God, I'm only getting nervous because it's not like, you know how you put on a peach primer and it'd be like that like silicone peach so it just turns translucent. This looks like foundation when you move it. Like what's about to happen? Ah! I might have to wipe off this sheet cause I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood, I'm wiping it off. Fuck no, hell no. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm gonna just act like it's from Sephora, you know? Change your mindset a little bit. It's gonna be okay. I feel like I'm going into this with a negative mindset. If I actually see like it covering up any dark spots that I might possibly have. Okay. It kind of made my skin feel moisturized. A little goes a long way. It smells good. It definitely kind of evened out my skin tone, as you can see, but it also made me lighter. So that's a thing. To be honest, I really like this concealer. I mean, this primer. Like, I don't know what it's going to do as far as helping my makeup stick to my face. When I just went in my bathroom to wet my beauty blender, I just looked at it and it makes my skin look so even. So I got two different kind of foundations. I got this foundation and I got this foundation. And I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this before, but I haven't seen these. So I got two, I got two different colors because this is obviously two white and this is obviously not very that obvious but very that obvious this foundation is called sassy plus chic moisturizing foundation which is kind of cool a moisturizing foundation and i got it in the color dark one and light one and that ain't dark it'd be so off but i have this one too in case this one goes wrong but i'm more excited about this one because it looks like something trash can trash can most of this video i'm gonna be looking down y'all because i'm like looking at stuff mm -hmm. this one look like it could be me i'm a dusty girl got my bra strap out kind of want to dot it on my finger and then my face it looks like a tinted moisturizer it just looks like lotion okay it's kind of leaving a color okay I don't have to mix them. My cousin said I was too light. He said, son, that's a little dark. No, it's not, beach. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be honest, it is giving me coverage. But with the brush, it's just so thick and like, I just, I'm gonna use my sponge because I, it kind of looks nice. It looks like it's gonna be like moisturizing, but it's just really thick. So at least sponges like soak up excess product. And in this case, I want it to soak up. Out of all of my 
love the foundations I have. This is the only foundation that like matches me like perfectly. Like you see, we're seeing. And it looks like my, it looks like skin. The foundation, I'm over here like impressed so far. I'm not even gonna lie. Am I tripping? Like I ain't gonna lie. It looks like it matches me so perfectly that I'm like, is it even showing up or is this my skin? Like, I don't know. It covers up the mold and it's really, it's really covering. Yeah, so okay. It just really matches me well. I don't, I've never been so confused. I feel like my texture is showing more, but I also wonder am I just low key like breaking out right now? I do feel like it's gonna be a bitch to set though. Did I even get a concealer? Do they even have a concealer? I think that's the one thing me and my cousin couldn't find was a concealer. I think I got this for the concealer instead of saying I got two foundations because this is so light. Okay, so I think I got this for the concealer because it, this one doesn't actually say foundation. This one just says liquid makeup. So I think I was like, I can't find a concealer so I'm gonna just use this. This was going to be a concealer today. I just feel so uncomfortable going straight in with this shit because it's so thick. Like. I'm just like knowing this is going to be horrible. That looks pretty good, actually. So I just remember that before I'm, I do highlight, which I kind of already did, but I, I, I know I'm, I'm going to want to go in with another layer of this under eye concealer. But I did get a cream contour stick, so I want to use that real quick. And this is the LA Colors contour stick, and I got mine in the color medium. Trash. Pretty small. You know, contour sticks are usually fat, but I don't mind it because then I can draw inside of my nose with this. I'm not good at contouring my nose. That's the one thing that I'm still mastering. Like, you know how you, as you learn your makeup, there's things you still need to work on? Contouring my nose is one of those things. It's only weird right here because I like to, you know, you like to get that thick line over here, but to do it everywhere else is actually pretty nice. Mm. I, I don't know, like, I kind of like that. Just the application, so far so good, I would say. Boom, baby, full. Oh, and I didn't even use much. That's not too bad. Well, I'm gonna go in like regular, y'all. We are gonna see how it blends. Oh, so far so good. That was a good blend. It just butter. Kind of make sure it's not blending into nothing either. Like you blend certain products and they just go away. And I'm paying attention to how all these products are blending on top of each other. Trying to see if my face feels heavy as far as all this makeup. I'm excited because I like this contour stick. So if this is good, I'm gonna be using it. that you can still see the mold. I'm gonna go with another um, tiny bit layer of that under eye concealer. So now I need to get into setting this under eye because it's starting to crease bad. I'm trying to see, I got two contour kits that came with lighter powders and I wanted to use the, one of those. Trash. I like how sleek it is. It's sleek and it's thin, like. So this looks pretty white. Trash. I'm gonna go in with this brush and set my under eye. But I'm gonna make sure I build up. I'm gonna make sure I blend out these creases to the best of my ability. I'm talking about no good. I'm gonna blend them out good and then I'm gonna set it. Set one side. It doesn't look too bad. And I'm really surprised that I couldn't find a setting powder. Did I tell y'all what these are called? It just says LA Colors Contour, but it comes with a light powder and a dark powder, and I have two of them. I use this one to set my under eye, but it kind of set my face neutral, so what I'm gonna do is use this to set my whole face, and then I'm gonna go back in with this lighter color and just put a light layer on top so it can bring the highlight back so these won't be the same color as my whole face. She did brighten it up a little bit. Never fear, she's here. Okay. Guess who's back, 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 back again. And you really have to dig into these powders. Like they don't, you would think a cheap powder would have a lot of kickback, but these don't. And I'm just gonna pack it on. But for this face to be so greasy, it's setting it down pretty good. I just, I'm so skeptical about this that I can't let it shine right in my mind, but it's so far so good. Like I was so, I was just really like confused. I'm like, is the foundation even giving me coverage? But now that I'm seeing the powder set it, I see the coverage cause I know what my skin looks like. 
I don't know how to feel because I'm feeling like ain't no way this shit is popping. I'm gonna blend out my lids because I put some foundation and concealer up there a little bit. So I don't want that to crease. I'm gonna keep my eye closed and go in with the powder and just set my lid. I'm digging, I'm digging in. Oh, I kind of see that my face is kind of unsetting. Like it was kind of, it was set and it was matte and now it's kind of like getting greasy again. So let's go in and set it again, okay? It's not looking cakey. Maybe I just didn't set it well enough. One thing I see is even though my under eye has been set, it's still creasing and cracking under there. Y'all can't see it because the lights are bright, but I'm going to try to get y'all closer. Can you get up close? I'm going to crease them. And it's kind of creasing as if I didn't set it, but I did. That kind of creasing, I wouldn't wear this out. We're gonna go in and we're gonna contour. I'm learning that there's a difference between bronzer and contour. Like there definitely is. Contour is for the shadows of your face, the dimension and bronzer just, you know what I'm saying? Like it tans you up, you know? Big difference. So I'm gonna go in with a bronzer, a bronzer first. And this is the LA Girls bronzer, because it says bronzer, huge. And it's in the color Bronze Beauty. So I'm gonna use this. Here we go again. God damn it, trash. So this is a shimmery bronzer. We're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna get, what am I saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna tap into it and then bronze. Oh, I like that it's shimmery. I thought that would be weird because I was I was like making it my business to not get a shimmery bronzer. Like I was like, damn, they only got shimmery ones. And this actually looks good. Like it's not my highlight, but look at that. Like 100% I'm keeping this forever. And I'm about to start looking into shimmery bronzers because this is popping. And I feel like going over top of that cream contour stick, it's just creating a nice, collaboration get it because i'm collaborating it just it looks so good because you know cream products create a sheen because they're cream bars ah! i'm a rapper what did you think mate i'm a rapper i just want to put it everywhere do you see it oh my god like bitch bitch should I have bronze before contour? I don't even know, but it doesn't matter. I'm about to go on contour now. I'm gonna go on with the one that that's next to the powder that I use to set my whole face. And I'm just gonna use a little bit because they're both ashy, but contour is supposed to be ashy, difference. Now we're gonna do blush. And if you look at this blush, it's called Beauty Benefits Hollywood. It looks like the Benefits brand, you know? So I thought that was cool. And it kind of like the packaging is kind of the same too. Lawsuit, I'm just kidding. This, bright, this blush is kind of intimidating to me, honestly, because it's super like red berry-ish color, but it was the only blush they had, like literally the only blush they had. So I was like, oh no, I'm lying. Forgot, I got another blush. This is Color Mates Blush Brush. Comes with a brush, why did I say that like that? But I don't know, I'm gonna look at this one too though. This is really shimmery though. But I don't know, I, like this is a cute blush for my tone. Like it's a lighter blush versus this. <laughs> But it has shimmer in it, which I don't care for. And this one is a matte. I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about this. I gotta go get it. I hate having to get up and get it. Brush it. This is the brush I use to use blush. So I have this and then I have a standby queen brush to blend it out in case ish hits the fan because bright color, bright color. And then I'm gonna... And then I'm gonna... I'm so scared. I'm gonna smile. Oh Lord, you see that? It's right there. Pink, red, okay. It's showing up, but it's like not blending out. Like it's just boom. I'm gonna try to make my other cheek at least match so it looks like it's done on purpose. Maybe my highlighter will take attention away from it. A little bit on my forehead so it matches up. A little bit on the tip of my nose so it matches and a little bit on my chin. So it draws, brings that color in. Bar, a little bit on my chin so it brings that color in. We're gonna go on with highlighter. This is the LA Colors Highlight. This is in the color Shine Bright. Fresh. So this is what the highlight looks like. Looks pretty, pretty beaming. I've been using liquid highlighters recently so you feel me? So I have my Morphe highlighter brush. My favorite one, had to mention her, shout her out. I'm gonna go in here like regular. There we go. It's actually really pigmented because let me show you. 
It's very pigmented and it's kind of, in a weird way, creamy too. See? It's definitely pigmented. Okay, I don't really know how I feel about the highlighter because I feel like it has like a, a weird texture to it But I'm trying to think I'm trying to see mm, maybe if I take a take the highlighter on it because it kind of feels like creamy like it's not a cream or anything mm, Maybe I should have done that The moment I put it on the on this brush, I mean on the beauty blender it got super pigmented see that Ooh, I Don't see it Dollar store makeup so far. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to brows. And for brows, I got this brow and eyeliner pencil by Color Mates. And we swore for the life of us they didn't have eyebrow pencils in there. We were like, dang, can't find an eyebrow pencil. And then we found one. We found this one. So I was like, ugh. I haven't used pencil. I'm having the hardest time opening this. I'm having the hardest time opening everything. Trash. And then we just go in and try to fill in our brows. Let me just show you how pigmented it is. One thing I will say is it is a, it is a creamier pencil. I don't like creamy pencils and I see that it's creamy. I feel like they look pretty good. One thing I can say is I hate my under eye. Like it's not nothing too crazy, but it's like, Oh, hold up. I do have something else for brows. I was about to move on. I got this. Oh, I didn't even tell you. I was just ri ripping it open. I got this LA Colors. I'm so happy because I was like, I really need to spoolie my brows and set them. But I don't feel like getting up again, so I'm just moving on to something else. But I forgot I got a brow tint, which is fill and set your brow. So I'm using it for setting purposes. It looks like a cool tone brow, which I don't mind because I like cool tone brows for my eyebrows. I just feel like it goes better. So this is the color, and I'm just going to take it through my brows. I have never used a brow tint. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. It's supposed to set and tint your brows. Okay, so brows are set. Okay, so moving on to eyes. I got three eye products, two palettes, and now I gotta open these two. So I got the, the LA Girls co LA Color. I didn't say, LA, I probably been saying LA Girls this whole video, have I? Only you know, cause I don't remember. So LA Colors eyeshadow palette, I got the nude palette. I also got the LA Colors eyeshadow palette and the rose palette. And then I also got the Elf Aqua Beauty Molten Liquid Eyeshadow, which is in the color rose gold. But I think it's probably like a, like you know how to steal the Magnificent, it's a liquid eyeshadow, the little thingy. So yeah, yeah, I'm trying to see which palette I'm gonna use. I know I'm gonna dip into the nude palette. Ew, it came with this. So this is what they look like. This is the nude palette and this is the rose palette. I'm gonna go on to the nude palette, of course, first. First I'm going with this shade. It's kind of like a neutral, my skin tone is shade. Not a lot of kickback and mostly cheap products have kickback. I don't even know what kind of look I'm about to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in, same palette with the nude palette, going with this like burnt orangey brownie color. And since I know it doesn't have kickback or really any fallout, I'm gonna go in. I'm just taking that right into my crease. It's not crazy pigmented, but you can kind of see it. They blend out pretty well, I will say that. You do have to layer it a decent amount of times to get to get the color payoff. I'm gonna pat it in now instead of swirling it. I'm just gonna pat it. I do have to keep going in here, of course, but it's a dollar guy. But when you pat it, it's way more pigmented. You can see that. I'm gonna go on with this fluffy brush. This is a dupe for the MAC 217 brush. I'm gonna take this queen around those edges. I just want that to be my base color for this look. Give it some dimension. And I'm gonna go in with this black color. I'm never gonna look with black, so this should be exciting. I'm just gonna dip into there and put it in my inner and outer corner to create a halo eye. I'll show y'all I'm using this black right here. That black has a lot of kickback. Those other colors did not have a lot of kickback. They didn't have really any kickback at all, almost. But I'm also taking that black and just packing it. Like, just packing it in there. I'm 
going to wet my brush. I think I am. I was trying to avoid it because I don't know what it's going to do. But I do want this black darker. Like, it's not a dark, dark, dark black. And I want it to be. Not, it don't have to be, like, crazy. But I just want it to be a little bit more. Like, this is a smoky black. Like, I smoked it out. But I want it to be more. I don't think it's really ever going to give me that jet black that I want. Now, I'm looking for a color to put in the halo, but I know for a fact I want to use this liquid one. But I feel like, should I just go straight in with this? Let me open it. This is the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in Rose Gold. So, I'm just going to go, I don't know. I'm just going to go straight in. Because if, if it was Stila, I would, I don't even know why I'm scared because it's e.l.f. It's not like no cheap dollar store brand, it's e.l.f. Like, girl, e.l.f. is good. <laughs> So I'm gonna let this dry. For sure, I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna go back in and blend that black into that goldy color. So I'm gonna go back into that new palette. This has fully dried. I'm gonna go in with an angle brush, as you can see. Take it right on the tip of that angle brush, like an eyebrow powder, and I'm just gonna drag it right over top of those edges of the gold and drag it into the black, so it can blend better. a little bit more of this gold but this time I'm gonna put it on my finger instead so it won't be so intense but it'll still give me like I'm gonna dab it because I want that black to show but I want that gold to show as well because I want it to be like you know black and gold I'm kind of satisfied. So I'm going to go back in with this color right here. It's the color I use all up here. And I'm going to take that on my lower lash line. I'm also hoping that because I'm gonna blow out my lash, my under lash line so far, that it will make this crease I have in here and there kind of look better because I'm not one to be looking busted. Going to use this black to blow out my bottom lash line. I got a mascara. This is the mascara right here. It is by Sinful Colors. And it's their Diva Lash Mascara. Trash. This is like a, a marker. Like as soon as I open it, it's gonna be like a marker. You know what I'm talking about? Dry erase marker. Oh, what the hell? I'm sad. Mm, I didn't read. It's not black. It's light purple. So what I'm gonna do is go in with my brow tint because I still want to make sure I'm using products from the video. So I'm gonna go in with my brow tint and use this as my mascara because the show keeps on going. So I went in with my CoverGirl So Lashy mascara because I just could not. I cannot put on lashes without mascara because I feel like they're kind of a protectant of my natural lashes from the glue and stuff. which is the liner and brow thing I use to fill in my eyebrow. And I'm going to fill in my lower waterline, my lower waterline. So I wanna incorporate this rose palette some way, somehow. I'm gonna go in with this color in the corner of the rose palette right here. I'm going in with the little brush that came with the palette. I'm just gonna use this to do my brow bone. Same thing over here. So now it's lips time. For lips, I have this Sinful Colors Private Line Lip Liner, and it's in the color Golden Glow. Looks like this. I don't know why I got this color. When I grabbed the lip liner, I didn't really even think. I kind of just saw a color and grabbed it, honestly. I didn't even consider it. This doesn't even look like it's gonna do anything. It looks like it's too light. Like, look at it, but whatever. I think I'm gonna use it to color my lips in, because I guess since I got this dark eye going on, I could do a nude lip. 
It's literally my color. Nude, that's nude nude. But I have a gloss which kind of matches as well. So I'm gonna use it. This is the LA Colors High Shine Formula Sheer Lip Gloss in the color Punchy. Mm. The gloss is kind of the same exact color, but shimmery. This lip liner give it more pigment underneath. So I'm gonna start with the liner first this time, guys. That was horrible. So there we go. Lips are lined. Maybe that will make a difference. Now I'm gonna go back in with this liner. Just in the center, though. I could just do it like that. I actually kind of like that. I actually quite like that. I like this color. I feel like it goes very well. Okay, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna just leave this color on my lips and not use the gloss because I'm fucking with this. Plus, the eyes are like shimmery, so I don't feel like I need a gloss anyway. And I'm gonna take this like dense little fluffy brush and I'm just gonna take that on the outer, like around those, the eyeshadow look. Cause I know one of my problems with eyeshadow is that I, I don't blend out the edges of the look around the eye. So I need to start working and paying attention to that. So I did not get a setting spray. So a setting spray is not gonna be a part of this look. I love how this mold is still like shining through. I'm obsessed. So this was pretty fun guys. Like honestly going into this, I had so much like skepticism. Is that a word? I don't know. I heard it before in my life, leave me alone. But I had so much like I thought it was gonna be crap honestly the worst thing for me was this liquid makeup stuff because it's just like one I didn't know if it was a foundation or a concealer but it kind of sucks like it's super creasy it does have pigment surprisingly because y'all saw that's the whole reason why my under eyes kind of bright it's just like it creases super super bad so it's like no it's a no-go for me like it's a lot of stuff I can deal with but this kind of creasing I can't deal with and I can deal with creasing but not this kind of creasing it's just like this kind of creasing is like the whole problem product is like up and lifted and moving and crumbling like this sucks so that can stay there the foundation honestly I'm gonna keep the foundation for now because I feel like even if I don't I will never use this for like no full coverage crazy face but this foundation is really really like it says moisturizing and I know if a product does not work for my skin and like right away because my skin will get really itchy my skin is not itchy with any of these products not itchy at all like my skin feels fine I do not feel itchy and I feel like this I'll just use this as a tinted moisturizer it's popping and y'all seen the color was so spot on for me that I literally thought that it wasn't showing up but this product actually gave me a lot of coverage y'all see my look this primer i love this primer i'm 100 percent gonna get this primer again it's only a dollar i'm gonna get this and I actually i'm gonna try out some more of these primers because they have like four different ones so i'm gonna try out more of them because i really 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 like this primer i'm actually thinking about using this primer again on my next makeup look because i want to see how well it works with like real my real products that i really really love and go for with like real my real products that i really really love and go for because this one even me out pretty well it left my skin feeling really moisturized it was just really really good so I'm just gonna see how I like this like using it for real the cream contour stick I really 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 like this this is something that I'm gonna be keeping in my collection because I really I think I feel like whenever I do my face I'll probably reach for my, my old faithful cream contour sticks but I'll be using this to cream contour my nose because it's so much thinner but I feel like this might become a part of like like my daily routine because it works very well I like it I like it I like it like I like it that's really all I can say so I'm happy about that the contour kits I would definitely reuse these I don't know if I will repurchase them but I will definitely be using them up like I will use them and keep them in my collection because the powder set my face pretty well like I say my face is set pretty well and the color is actually really nice too and the actual contour worked pretty well for me the bronzer y'all already know I love this I, I raved about it I love this bronzer I'm definitely keeping this in my collection this bronzer has actually even like brought me to a point where I'm like I want to explore more shimmery bronzer but I always make sure like when I see my bronzer and I buy a bronzer I'm like it has to be matte. I'm obsessed with this bronzer. This is gonna become a part of my routine. The blush Mm, the eyeshadow palettes they're garbage like I had to work too hard for what I was going for and I know that I have products that will get me here to where I got today so much faster so I'm not willing to work for these this elf liquid eyeliner I, I mean liquid eyeshadow I love I feel like if it wasn't for this I wouldn't have even achieved this look I feel like this is what made this look look better this is just the ish this is what saved my look and I love I always use like the stealing magnificent metals and 
glitters and stuff. I love eyeshadow stuff, like liquid eyeshadow stuff, because it just makes the look like boom, like zoom, like pop. The eyebrow tint, let me see. Yeah, it definitely is holding my eyebrows into place. The color is transparent a little bit, but that could also be that liner, because I told y'all that liner is really creamy, and I don't care for creamy products on my eyebrows. My eyebrows are definitely in place, and they're not going anywhere. So I'm definitely going to be repurchasing and using this, because it's a dollar. I use this, and I really like it. I'm going to be keeping it. I love the way it turned out. Like, this lip was an accident. The gloss, when I did have it on for the three seconds that I did, it did feel really nice, and it also felt moisturizing. It doesn't feel like that nasty, sticky gloss, so I will be using this. This highlighter, I will be keeping in my collection, but it is a little bit intense. Y'all are showing up as a bean, but for me, it's, it's a patchy bean. The thing about it is, I found out, like, basically 90% of the way through using it that I should have just applied it with just my beauty blender because when I applied it with my beauty blender, it was just like, Ooh. So I'm going to keep it and I'm going to retry it with just the Beauty Blender in the first place and not brush then Beauty Blender. I feel like I look like an evil villain, but evil villain means I'm popping. I can't believe I'm only throwing away two things. That's all to show y'all. Do not sleep. Do not sleep. Do not sleep on affordable makeup. Because so does it really get more affordable than a dollar? Look at my face. Look at my face. This is literally epic. Odola? Odola? Okay, guys. So this is the end of my video. I am shooketh, shook is, shook it. I'm shook. I don't know. Like, I just wanted to feel like I didn't want to just do no basic face for this. I wanted to try to go in full force beat face. And yeah, guys, tell me what you think of this face because I'm shook. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to come back to see another one of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching.